The official death toll of Kenyan soldiers in Somalia stands at 33. 26 of them have their names engraved on a monument at the Nanyuki army base. These men who went to fight in the name of regional peace remain statistics until tonight. KTN and the Standard newspaper traveled across the country to bring you stories of men who died in the name of peace. Men who are more than boots and guns in Somalia. Men who were loving sons, fathers and husbands. KTN's Catherine Amondo brings you the first episode of Scars of War, the story of George Karari and Suleiman Adan. September 2011, a British national was abducted off the coast of Lamu and her husband killed. Exactly one month later, two Spanish nurses were abducted from Dadaab at the Kenya-Somalia border. The Kenya Defense Forces announced an incursion into Somalia because insecurity at the Horn of Africa would mean insecurity in Kenya. That was on the 16th of October 2011, and our troops have been there ever since. The first structure that meets us at the gate is the home of George Karari. George, only 25, built this two-roomed house with his bare hands, but he never got to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Miner paints an image for us with what's left of memories of his son. After sitting for his Kenya certificate of secondary education at Yakaja Secondary School in 2010, he made a decision that would change his life and that of his family. Before 2011, Kenyan soldiers were said to be career soldiers, soldiers who would chart out victory battles but never fight them. But all this changed on the 16th of October 2011, when Kenya went into Somalia. These so-called career soldiers were immediately turned into real soldiers. Karari first tasted the battlefield in June 2012. <laughs> It was Monday the 3rd of September that calls to Karari's phone finally went through. My brother, I'm a Jerry. Ah, I can't. I'm new. Riza, we are in Nani Kwagu. I can't wait for my brother. I go. Can you be a sister? We're going to have a cousin. I'm a Jerry. We're going to have a cousin. 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 We're Kalari, 
na na kiria kana mimi yuko na yangu sasa ningeweza aje kusuria kusuria eh wakania bia basi tutamu tutamuua sasa hiyo sasa nikaanza kutetemeka hata nilikuwa karibu kuanguka nika support myself the next couple of days would mean hell for the karari family constant back and forth with the apparent al shabab militia uno mmoja anakuambia watamuua mwingine anakuambia wamemuua mwingine anakuambia sijui hawa wako na yeye lakini hawatawahi muachilia sasa tukujua ukweli ulikuwa wapi minor believes as this was going on his son was still alive ninapigua simu lakini kwa watu wengine walikuwa wanaongea huko na mimi nimesikia jina moja kama 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 baba yako nilisikia kitu kama hiyo sasa sasa ndio alikuwa anaruzi waswali ama ni nini lakini nilisikia hiyo kuna mtu aliniandikia message akaniambia kwamba dada yangu ame amekufa wamemuua sasa wa pili akaniandikia akaniambia tuko na yeye na he is in good health sasa walikuwa tu wanaandika message kama hizo lakini kuna nyingine niliandikiwa afta kukaa kidogo si kama siku mbili hivi kuna mmoja aliniandikia message akaniambia washamzika walimuua na na wakamzika sasa sasa wakati wa walitaka wali, wali, wali kizimayo ndio akaabiwa nini iko mbili ile siku hapa hali fulani yani al sababu alikuwa anataka ku kufuta hiyo maiti kwa barabara alafu wananchi wakakataa Karari was found on the 11th of October 2012 he shared a grave with a fellow KDF soldier and two soldiers of the Somali armed forces Kwanza walikuwa wametuambia watapata kwa, walipata nyama kidogo kidogo kwa mwili na hiyo nyama ilikuwa na live cells sasa wakifanya DNA na na, na hiyo lakini wakati ile ilipelekwa hiyo kwa kwa hiyo nini kwa hiyo sijui inafanywa na mna gani lakini hiyo 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 sio siri 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 collapse yeah. sasa ikawa ni lazima watupie mfupa na mfupa naye anachukua munda I am the hit of Al Shabab area of Dobri we don't want to give you the body of your brother While her father has deleted all the numbers and short messages sent to his phone, Damaris has kept those that came through to hers. She says she has never had the courage to delete them. Yaani tunafikiria tu mambo yenye ili mtendekea. Unajua sasa hujui aliuliwa aje. Nafikiria tu hiyo mambo unasikia na inatuadili tu kimawazo hiyo. When all is quiet, they make up possible scenarios in their mind from the fragments of information they have collected since Karari went to Somalia and his remains brought back home. Sasa waliada wali wali waliada sasa kutoka Mindu waliada waliada wakasika eh Kismayo. Kwa nini wabebe kama kama alikufa kama alikufia kwa 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 vita wabebe kama amekufa. Siwagawacha haya kama wao wengine waliopata huko. What is believed to be Karari's remains were buried on the 18th of December 2012 in his father's farm close to those he loved a place he can truly rest in peace For what is believed to be two months George Karari shared a shallow grave with Adan Suleiman We drive to Isiolo to see where he has been laid to rest We find an unmarked grave at the Jamia Mosque cemetery identified only by a wooden post that stands beside it. His mother lives about 3 minutes away from the cemetery, a devout Muslim, but she's also a mother who mourns her only son. One and a half years after his death, she tries to fill her mind with the good memories, like how Suleiman had seen his father walk proudly in the Kenya Defence Force uniform and hoping one day he too would do the same. Ana chese fitu yakisho kitu kama bunduki mchezo wake niyo Suleiman went into the military straight out of high school he was deployed to Somalia at the same time Karari was Aha atakuwa na haraka yeye alikuwa anapenda tu yani afike hapo hivyo aone umeisha iko vipi alikuwa anapenda sana kwenda hapo While on deployment Suleiman would call home as frequently as he could each time his mother never detected a hint of fear in his voice Ajayi kusema mama iko mbaya una anajua mimi nasikia mbaya nitasema hata rudi topa hiyo bunduki huko unaweza rudi mimi naweza sema hivyo ajayi kuniambia nasema kuna shida mama kuna shida mama Amina lost contact with her son on August 31st 2012 Unlike
the Karari family, Amina and her family had no idea that their son had been taken by the enemy. They only found out later in the worst way a parent can find out about the death of their child. Mutungine tu alitupigia, alipigia msichana tsimo. Watu anaongea tu, watu anaongea tu, watu anaongea tu. Ndo tumesikia tu jioni basi. Sulema, watu ameona kwa internet taki, kifo yake, picha yake. The militia called him a traitor, as if Suleiman had gone to fight a religious war. Pigiangu ni muslamu. Wenye wanasema hivyo wawo, wenyewe hawajui maana wa islamu ni nini. Islamu haisemi uende uwe muslamu istoshe ukimuwa, uende uchezi muli yake. Pigiangu alikufa akiwa nafanya kazi, lakini dewe wa memuwa ni kama wako na kisasi na ye. Na hiyo, si mzuri. Istoshe hakuna wa islamu ikuwa hapo katikati ya hiyo. Kifo ya ndugi yangu na ya Somalia. Ndugi yangu alienda kufanya kazi ya kuenda kupiga msomalia wala hakuenda kupiga msilamu ya yote. Sadly, Nasiolo, not everyone understands this. A few meters away from Amina's home, stalls outside the town's Jamia mosque still sell footage of Suleiman's torture and the image of his body being dragged across the streets of Kismayu. These images and scenes are encrypted in a DVD with a series of teachings by the late Muslim cleric Abu Drogo. Awache yo kuhusa kitu utitu rasikia mbaya. Kama yu mtoto angu angalia na andiko jina chini. Suleiman Adhan angalia. Sasa mimi kama mzazi nasikiaji. Nani watu wa Kenya alikuja kuhusa hapa. Iyo shini kama alishabab. Nasikia mbaya sana. Awache kusa, picha mutu kutoko, tena mutu amekufa, inaleto kutoko hafu ukwa, anaoto nyesha sura yake, na amekufa na wakuna, na hawa nakula pesa. Kuna sikia uchungu. The store owners will not sell the DVD to non-locals. We sent out our informant. Ibu masema inanda patuan baka? Nain. Nila Abu Drogo? Gandhi yu mambo ataso male somale yu? He? Iyo ndo nataka. All he needed was 200 shillings to buy the DVD. This proves that the DVD feeds a local demand and Amina's request to have them confiscated may fall on deaf ears. This is not how the Adan family wants Suleiman to be remembered. Sometimes <laughs> Other than the DNA test to confirm indeed the body brought back with George Karari was Suleiman, the military offered no official explanation to what happened to him, how or where he was taken from. In May 2013, Treasury disbursed 25 million shillings to compensate the families of 22 soldiers who died in Somalia. Given the time of their deaths, one would think that Suleiman Aden and George Karari's families would have been compensated by now. But grieving families rarely ask questions, and perhaps that's the problem. What is clear is that these families will never be the same again. Their scars of war are permanent. Here to the Amani, to Kaya in peace, come on, we'll go to Naka, we are here, da, here, da. But can you come on in the corner and give me? Ah, ah. Catching on one, though, KTN.